Blue Plus Video Shorts. This video is for our editorial board members who'd like to learn more about how to submit a decision on a manuscript. From your main menu, you'll find the manuscript in the Submissions with Required Reviews Complete folder. All papers with two or more completed reviews will be found here. Hover over the action links in the left-hand column of your manuscript and click on the Manuscript Details. Before submitting your decision, double-check that all of your required reviews have been provided. If you submit a decision letter before a reviewer's deadline is up, your reviewer may not have completed his or her review. Please do not terminate reviewers unless they are past their deadline, which is normally 10 days past their acceptance of the review invitation. Sometimes we may grant reviewers extensions, so it's always good to check the reviewer deadline, which will be listed underneath the reviewer name, as you can see right here. In this case, both of our invited reviewers have completed their reviews, so let's proceed. Go back to the main page within the Submissions with Required Reviews Complete folder. Click on the action links and su select the Submit Editor's Decision and Comments link. This will bring us to the decision page. Select your decision from the drop-down menu at the top of the page. In this case, we will render a decision of minor revision. The fields Confidential Comments to Editor and Comments to Author are intentionally left blank and should not have any text present. Do not write anything in either of these fields. If you scroll a little further down, you will see the reviewer forms from both reviewers, including their decision recommendations, their comments to the author, and any confidential comments to you as the editorial board member. Scan the reviewer comments, and if you feel ready to continue submitting your decision, hit Proceed. And hit Proceed again. Now you're at the actual decision letter. Before you proceed, delete the all caps text, which begins with academic editor. Please insert comments here by overwriting this paragraph and include your own specific comments for the author. Providing personalized comments is a very important part of the decision letter. For example, in this case, it lets us guide review authors towards specific reviewer concerns you'd like them to focus on in their revision. You can also use this space to describe the review process, noting, for example, how many reviewers advised on the submission and which comments to address should there be a discrepancy between the reviewer assessments. When providing a reject decision, please use this space to apply our seven publication criteria and to note which specific criteria were not upheld within the paper. Remember, novelty, impact, and niche topic areas are not valid reasons for rejection according to PLOS One standards. If you're accepting a paper, please make sure to do this only when a paper is ready for publication exactly as it is. The journal office will ask you to confirm any changes made to a paper after acceptance, and this can hold up the paper. We therefore ask that you submit a minor revision decision if you have any final changes for the authors to make before a manuscript is ready for publication. Once you've finished composing your specific comments, you can go ahead and click Send Now. You will arrive at the Reviewer Notification Letters page. Go ahead and click Send All Letters. Our decision letter has now been sent to the author and our reviewers. We're done. Thanks for watching this PLOS video short. For more information and videos like this one, please visit our PLOS Media YouTube channel.